All right, so this is going to be a fun one because what you notice is, again, we're, we're, what we're trying to do is expand this, all right? And we look at expansion. When expansion, we want to look at our product. So we can see the products. That means we're going to be adding, all right, the product of what we're multiplying by. We can add those, the sum of separate logarithms of each one of those values. So you see here, we have a, the product of a couple of terms. We have 5 times x cubed times y times z to the negative 1 half, all right? So what I can do is I can break up these each into their own individual logarithm of base 7. So therefore, I have log base 7 of 5 plus log base 7 of x cubed plus log base 7 of y plus log base 7 of z to the 1 half power. Whew, right? Now, the final thing that we can do is we can take all of our exponents in our log and rewrite them in front as a product to finalize our expansion. So therefore, I have log base 7 of 5 plus 3 log base 7 of x plus log base 7 of y plus 1 half times log base 7 of z. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your finalized expanded form of your logarithmic expression. Thanks.